from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Shut up. Are you serious? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacka or a felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. This is from Media Week, a trade publication of ad agencies, TV networks, what have you. Young viewers... Watch the CW's premiere episode of 90210 in record numbers for the network. 90210, record numbers for the CW network. Most viewers ever. But it says here in Media Week, something called the Parents Television Council has condemned the September 2nd episode for what it calls an implied scene of oral sex among high school kids, as well as for, quote, glamorizing underage drinking, pornography, and profanity. How stupid are these groups? The PTC is contacting each advertiser in the show to stress its displeasure with the show's content and to make sure advertisers, quote, are aware of the specific content that they underwrite. Parents Television Council President Tim Winter said the CW sucker punched its advertisers by not showing them the show in advance to make them aware of its content. Winter said, no socially responsible advertiser would sponsor the clear sexual gratification of a high school boy sitting in his car with a pretty brunette's girl, pretty brunette girl's head on his lap. No socially responsible advertiser would sponsor the clear sexual gratification of a high school boy sitting in his car with a pretty brunette girl's head in his lap. We'd all like to be that high school boy. (laughs) No socially responsible advertiser. Are you kidding me? Advertisers want to get the largest number of viewers possible. And in young demographics, it's especially hard to find large numbers of young people watching any one television show anymore. Advertisers bought this show because it delivered what it promised. Lots and lots and lots of young viewers. Says here a statement by the CW. Said the 90210 episode was, quote, screened in advance of broadcast through the Customary Advertiser Screening Service. The statement added that any suggestion by the PTC that controversial material was edited into the show at the last minute after advertisers screened it is as ridiculous as it is inaccurate. Why don't these groups get the idea? Look, protesting this stuff is a complete waste of time because all you are doing is promoting these programs. Now, I probably would not be talking about 90210 today, maybe never. It's not a show I necessarily would watch, although if it's got more content like that, I might start tuning in. But now that they have uh, made a stink about this, now, of course, we're going to talk about it. And the result is that more people will tune in to 90210 on the CW. 
because a group like this uh, decides to make a stink. Whenever you protest these things, all you're doing is making them important. You're putting them on the map. Over 20 years ago, a woman named Terry Ricolta in Michigan started a campaign about one of the lowest rated shows on TV. It was called Married with Children. She started on a campaign of going on talk shows, sending out press releases. Anything she could do to tell people how terrible the show was. And all she did was put that show on the map. It became Fox's first big hit show. And it was all based on this protest. You know, if you uh, object to programming like this, don't watch it. Tell your friends not to watch. But uh, going out there and starting a campaign to, to get shows like this off the air, to get the advertisers to bail, all it does is make people more interested in it. It has the opposite effect of what you were intending. Now, as a result, of if the Parents Television Council doesn't like it, I will be tuned in tonight. Tonight, I will be tuned in to the CW tonight to watch 90210. If they are going, if they're against it, I'm in favor of it. If they're against it, at least I'm going to go take a look at it. Who cares what the Parents Television Council thinks? Who gives a rat's ass? The only reason I care is because anything they're against, I'm in favor of. Anything they're in favor of banning, I'm in favor of extending. If they're opposed to 90210, that's the next hot show on my TiVo. I'm telling you right now. Anybody seen 90210? Any, the new 90210? Anybody got an opinion about it? Anybody swayed by the fact that the Parents Television Council objects to it? Give me your opinion about this. Sound like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Tom, I just wanted to call up and just congratulate you on being the number one pick. It's the Tom Likas Show. Yep. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Yes, something called the Parents Television Council is complaining to advertisers about <laughs> the new version of 90210. Oh my goodness, heaven help us. Candace on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Candace. So, um, I completely agree with you, first and foremost, about this whole 90210 shenanigans. I, I honestly think it's a publicity stunt. Just doing my research, looking on Perez and U.S. Weekly and all these little websites, apparently they were having bad ratings trying to get our, our age bracket to watch this show, hence them bringing back the old crew. And so now it's like all of a sudden it's just too hot for TV, but I mean... They don't say that about Gossip Girl, which is, you know, in my opinion, worse than the night. Well, actually, we, actually, you're wrong. Uh, they did have comments about Gossip Girl. And the CW Network used the comments to advertise the show. Well, which, which in my, my opinion, is another publicity stunt for 90210. I mean, if you look at the billboards, you know, driving around L.A., I mean, clearly you can see it's not like the old school 90210, just these kids from Beverly Hills. I mean, they have this skanky picture of a girl, like, sitting on top of this guy in the pool. It's like you can almost tell from the advertisement on the billboard what it's going to be about. So all this, like, you know, complaints and all this, oh, it's just too much. You know, like you said, don't watch it. You know, there's plenty of other okie doke ABC television shows that they can, you know, appear to. But I think it's going to be a hit just because of that. Well, the CW has not had a hit show. Uh, they've only been around. This is their third season, I believe. Uh, they have uh, horrible ratings because, uh, well, for a number of reasons. Well, they had Top Model. Um, but that was not, that was not even the top, if I recall correctly, not even the top 75 shows on TV. 
that was their highest rated show. But but having said that, it was not a very highly rated show. Wow. I mean, personally, I'm not going to watch it just because I wasn't a big fan of 90210, but I don't think they need to make a big hubbub about it. I mean, like I said, there's plenty of other on TV, like transvestites on the new, you know, top model show now that they could oppose to. It's, it's just, I don't know, too too much for me. And I'm a parent myself, but I don't know. <laughs> now, you see, I, from what I've read about 90210, and again, you know, the target audience of the show is young girls. In fact, I think that's the target audience of every show on the CW network, like Gossip Girl and what have you. Uh, but what, uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start watching it. If, if this group thinks it's that bad, I'm tuning in. And what if you don't like it? Then what? Are you gonna well, admit openly that they were wrong? <laughs> they were right? Well, no, because it still wouldn't mean that they were right. It would just mean that it was not my kind of show. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, sex sells, and you know, with the with the whole Miley Cyrus and all these other issues, the High School Musical kids. It's like, what else is new? You know, why make a big fuss about this now? And this has been going on for some time. Yeah, I don't disagree with you, um, but uh, look, let's face it. Um, um, uh, you know, for years the networks have been terrorized by these groups. And for years, they blanded out their programming in response. But now, with the Internet and now with all these cable channels that have outrageous programming with no censorship, the networks have to do something to compete. And so now, I, I mean, the networks are in such a position, they're so desperate not to lose viewers yeah. uh, to all the other media that are out there that they don't care who's complaining about the programming anymore. They just don't care. They can't afford to worry about it anymore. Well, yeah, and I agree uh, wholeheartedly. I currently work for a major network, and, you know, once the season comes back, it's going to be hard to compete with us, you know, for obvious reasons. But I don't think that – I mean, who put together this parental society that complains about – TV stations and what they show. God only knows. Uh, I suspect it's some religious organization, but you never know. You never know who's behind these things. I mean, I think it'll be a hit, like you said, just because of their complaints, but I don't think it'll last long. I mean, there's, you can't remake a classic to me, you know, and it's had its day. It's been how many years since they've ended it? I don't know. It's the same. And to me, it's, it's like a... Mm, like a gossip girl, just with the history of having a show behind it. So, yeah. Well, we're going to find out. We're going to find out if it'll be successful. Uh, this will certainly give it some life in the beginning. Now we'll see if people want to watch it beyond the beginning. I mean, a lot of these shows that start off really hot end up fizzling out. Remember the OC? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One day that was the hot. That. One Dawson day that, Creek. <laughs> yeah. One day they the, the hottest show on TV. And then the little girls find something else to watch, and they, they just abandon these shows. Yeah, Dawson's Creek was good for a while, but then that faded. <laughs> yeah, One Tree Hill, which is still on. Yeah. Is anybody watching that? No, I don't watch that either. Wasn't there a Superboy, Superman show on WB Network at one time? Smallville. Yeah. Smallville. Smallville. Yeah. They show that in syndication on cable, I think. I don't know if Smallville was the town Superman grew up in or it was the ratings for the show. I don't know which. <laughs> Probably both. I mean, it was more so based upon uh, prior to him being Superman. But right. it just, I don't know, it didn't catch my attention. It was boring. <laughs> the, <laughs> show hit, the show hit kryptonite, baby. <laughs> That's like them coming up the Spider-Man show. I mean, no one would watch that. But the Spider-Man yeah. show. <laughs> I just try to imagine that. Yeah, I don't think that would work. I mean, Batman had its day in the 70s, but, you know. Darling, I hate, to tell you, I hate to tell you, Batman was in the 60s. Oh, even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Candace. Thank you for having me. Can you take me out with Kobe? <laughs> you know I can. Oh.
This is about us. She's so special to me. You're yeah, beats in my heart. You're yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Something called the Parents Television Council is going after the advertisers of the new 90210 on the CW. Oh, how terrible this show is. All it's going to do, if, if if kids think the parents are opposed to this show, oh, watch what happens to the ratings now. Adrian on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hi, how are you? Great. Good. Um, I'm just calling because I just wanted to say that here this parents' council is making this comment about how it's so sexual. And look at high school. This, this is exactly what's happening in high school. So... What are we going to do? Close down all the schools? <laughs> yes, and if you want to attract that audience, you're going to have to reflect what's really going on. And that's what's going on. Yeah, it's pretty arousing, too. <laughs> yeah, it was actually, I did see it. I did not see it the night it premiered. I actually saw it last night online, and it was it was very interesting. I really, I actually didn't think I was going to like it at all, just hearing about it. But I actually really enjoyed it, and I will tune in today. I'm going to be watching. Now, if that episode's available online, as soon as I get off the air tonight, I'm going to tune that in. You should. It was great. Is that the uh, the CW.com? Yep. I'm going there. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. Appreciate the call. Justin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, father. Hello, son. You know what, uh, this happened to the same thing with uh, Family Guy. The, uh, the parents got together and they said that uh, it was such a bad show, it was so grotesque, that nobody should watch it. And they canceled it for, I, I believe, like a year, year and a half. And everybody rallied together and the show came back and the ratings are stronger than ever. It just shows you can't cancel something that's uh, good and people will want to watch it. It's like the forbidden fruit. People people are always going to want to watch it. If, if you can't, if you say you can't do it, they're going to want to do it. Yeah. I mean, uh, believe me, I've said many times I would pay protesters to come down and pick it outside our studio. <laughs> they did. The, uh, my point was the same thing with Married with Children. When that lady uh, uh, said her children were watching it, uh, you know what? If you if you don't approve for your children to watch it, don't let them watch it. But ever, leave everybody else alone. Why should your opinion affect everybody else? By the way, here's the other thing. So many TV shows get canceled after two weeks or three weeks. Why waste your time protesting? Most of these shows kill themselves. I agree completely. Yeah, at least wait till the show is on a while and see if it d develops an audience. Yeah, if it doesn't develop an audience, <laughs> then you have no problem with it. <laughs> I mean, now look what they've done. Now, everybody knows there's a 90210. There's a new version of it. There's a lot of people who don't even know that. Yeah, I didn't know it until uh, you, uh, you said it on the air. Yeah. And for a few episodes, they got Shannon Doherty on there, and uh, Tori Spelling is going to be on it for a few episodes. I'm with you. I'm going to go watch it as soon as I get home. I'm about 20 minutes away from home. I'm going to go find it. <laughs> I'm telling you, this will, this will, the ratings will shoot through the roof now. Yeah, I agree. Could you uh, blow me up, Father? I certainly can, son. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Kelly on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hi. I was calling because I definitely think that it's ridiculous. There's our parents, there's the whatever the parents' council is objecting. because It's just like parents telling their kids, hey, don't do drugs, don't have sex. What are your kids going to do? Go do drugs, go have sex. Like... It's just, it's stupid, and it's stupid to think that they're objecting to this TV show and kids are going to do whatever they want to do anyway. And it sounds like these parents and this council are kind of like the Sarah Palins of today, where it's like, wow, look how successful, you know, turning your kids off to, you know, programs with sex is going to do. I mean, it's like objecting to uh, comprehensive sex education in schools. That's really going to work. Like well, let's only... let's be honest about what's happening in schools. There's <laughs> been more than one story, more than one. I mean, forget oral sex in high school. That was going on when when your mom was in high school. Yeah. I mean, 
There were stories in the past year, and if you Google them, you'll find them, that yeah. there are 11-year-olds engaging in oral sex now many times in school. Absolutely. So I mean, <laughs> if, if that's happening, why would anyone be shocked to see 16 and 17-year-olds engaging in that? They shouldn't be. They're just in denial if they're thinking that their kids are, oh, so angelic and so untouched. I mean, kids are going to do whatever they want to do, especially at that age. And just seeing it on TV isn't going to turn them on or off to, to it anymore because they're already doing it. I think... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I just can't believe how stupid these groups have become. They've become nothing more than the PR departments for these networks. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I honestly couldn't even tell you. I just think it's ridiculous. that I mean, and like the someone calling an earlier mention, Gossip Girl. I mean, the CW has all these different shows that are just dripping with sexual connotations. And, I mean, it's just stupid. That's what people are doing. Might as well be honest about it instead of being in total denial because then that's just foolish. Well, I know now I'm going to be watching that show. I, I, I watched it. it. It doesn't hold a candle to the original, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, I think I'll... Oh, wait a minute. Are you telling me Are you telling me the original was like great art or something? <laughs> it was just silly. No, I'm not suggesting that the original is great art, but just kind of watching it, it was a little cheesy. So, I mean, I guess what can you expect for a show like this? But so far, I'm slightly disappointed. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Take me out with the bongers, please. Here you go. <coughs> Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, I think the CW is actually behind the protest for exactly the reasons that you're bringing up. Well, that means that uh, you believe that the Parents Television Council is a total fraud to begin with and that they would take money or goods or services in exchange for uh, protesting. Um, I Believe me, if they're open for, uh, for sale, I'd, I'd like to see if they have a radio division. It's distinctly a possibility, especially given exactly what you said. You'd pay protesters to come show up in front of your building. I, I would, but uh, I, I don't think I'd be very successful at it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have done it. Well, they, they maybe the CW figured it all out, how to keep a distance enough from it to make it work. Well, it is interesting that the, uh, the show Gossip Girl, that's also on CW, not only did the Parents Television Council attack that show, but the CW took quotes from the Parents Television Council and put it on billboards to advertise the show here in L.A. Yeah, seems a little bit of a cozy relationship. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Tom. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate the call. Here's Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are Hello. you? Hello. Doing okay, Dave. Uh, my parents should really look at a show like this and when they see something like that come on television as an opportunity to, you know, it opens the door for them to have a conversation when the show's over with their teen about, you know, what can happen, uh, you know, when you have unprotected sex and, you know, to get upset, uh, you know, I think these parents are more, you know, wishing that the gardener would teach their kids sex education, you know, other than just having a conversation. These parents have no idea that their kids actually, you know, know what parents no, and I mean, these parents are the same ones that were in the '60s, you know, banging everybody. And now, yeah, I wonder. I wonder. By the way, these are the parents who are watching Swing Town on CBS. I wonder. Uh, <laughs> that's a small group, by the way. Uh, but I wonder how many kids. When there was a scene with a high school student, a male high school student, with a brunette's head in his lap. How many uh, high school students were saying to their uh, parents, Mom, what is she doing? I, I think most of them figured it out, but, you know. There, What's there's, that there's, girl there's, doing down there? What's she doing? She's uh, checking him for, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, this, there's got to be a religious organization behind these groups because these types of initiatives are usually religious driven or religion driven and you know it's like sarah palin you know she puts on her sunday dress and and then on monday she you know puts on her uh, whips and chains uh you know it 
it's like uh, sex feels good. Uh, we the world needs to take sex less seriously and find you know better ways to have it. And if you want world peace, you know, bang the guy next to you right now. You know, just go up to him for no reason. Don't ask his name. Don't ask if he's got a family. Just have sex with him. The world will be a better place. Especially if you're hot and I'm not. Yes, exactly. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> can you take me out old school with uh, Snoop Dogg? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, we're just passing half past the hour here on the Tom Likas Show. We're talking about the CW Network. They have a new version of nine hundred two one zero. Remember Beverly Hills nine hundred two one zero? Well, they're doing a new version of it, and something called the Parents Television Council is complaining, going to all of the advertisers of nine hundred two one zero and saying. Uh, did, did you have any idea what you were buying? Do you have any idea what this show is about? Do you have any idea? Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Is that Russ Martin on the phone? Russ. Thomas. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm doing okay. You know what? I missed the story about the parent, uh, the, who is it, uh, protesting 90210? It's the Parents Television Council. Uh, do they think that, that advertisers aren't smart enough to look where they're spending their dollars? Uh, obviously, they think that. Because oh, we've run through that here in, in, in Dallas. You get the people sending letters to different advertisers. I think they're smart enough to know if they're going to spend that much money per minute on a spot, they're going to know where the money's going. They're not buffoons. I think everybody knows what the original 90210 was about. And why would anyone think that a new version would be any less steamy? And if you don't care for it, there's no reason for you to watch it. No. Uh, actually, I was calling. Uh, did Gavin, our program director here in Dallas, give you the heads up that he uh, preempted your show here in Dallas tonight? No. Yeah, I just found out. What was I preempted for? I, I don't know. It's some kind of uh, uh, fishing show. I'm not sure what it was. What? I, I told him not to. No, I argued with him for a half an hour, and he said, you know, he said, screw Tom. So He did not. Yeah. So now, now, now I'm going to be complaining. Well, I don't know how you take a syndicated show, not air it, and not tell the host. Well, that's a good point. Well, that's a screw job. I mean, what's he afraid of? What, is he afraid I'm going to find out and I'm going to jump ugly on him? Which I would. So he thought you weren't going to find out, and that's why I wanted to rectify it. <laughs> well, I, I'm glad you did. Now, what is this show? It's a fishing show? Is that what you're telling me? What? I go, if anybody gives him money, he'll carry anything. He's a whore. I hear that. Oh, my God. So if there's anything you want to address with him later or... Uh... Your syndicator, I just, personally, I just sue No, you know, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to address it on your show. That's where I'm going to address this. Yeah, I'm call up tomorrow. You're more than welcome to. Oh, don't worry, I will. All right. Okay. Well, i, I got to go back because they're talking about making uh, stink bait now. Thank you for that, Russ. All right. All right. There goes Russ Martin. Russ precedes us in Dallas on Live 105.3. We are preempted in Dallas tonight for something. Can we do some due diligence on this, folks, and find out what's going on? Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. The CW Network has made a new version of 90210, the old show from Fox from the 80s. And um, the Parents Television Council is complaining about the content of the show. And I'm wondering, uh, you know... Would that make you less likely to watch it? Would it make you more likely to watch it? I, it makes me more likely to watch it. I had no interest. But I'm going to be watching it now. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. It seems like you're a psychic because everything you said came true. It was like you were the Messiah or something. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, damn. Tom Likas just said she would do that. And then she turns right around and does it. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 
Tom. Lisa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hey, what's going on? I've been listening to you since 97 when I lived in Portland, but I am a size 2 and I live in L.A. now. Yes. Hey, um, I want to compare this 90210 thing to when Married with Children first hit the airwaves back in the day. I don't think it would have even made it through its first season if someone hadn't made such a big protest. Oh, I I totally agree. It was one of the lowest-rated shows on TV. And a woman from Michigan named Terry Ricolta began a one-woman campaign to get it off the air. That's the whole reason why I ever watched it. Uh, That's the reason a lot of people tuned in to see it. And uh, the result of her protest, which is something the parents' television council should pay attention to, is that uh, I have some statistics on Married with Children. The show lasted 11 seasons... There were 262 episodes. It's the longest lasting live action sitcom in the history of the Fox network. I don't think it would have made it through the first season if it hadn't been for this lovely woman who made such a mistake. Well, I, there's no telling what would have happened because Fox was a brand new network when they show it on the air in 1987. Very true, very true. And and none of their shows had any ratings, and uh, uh, many of the shows uh, that were on back then, uh, they stuck with for a while. Uh, some of them are still on, you know, like uh, Cops and America's Most Wanted. True. And uh, The Simpsons came on later. I don't think it was one of the original shows. No, that was a little bit newer, but I'm telling you, I was never even going to turn on 90210, um, the new one, because it's not really my demographic, but now I have to see. Absolutely. So I think they're just going to draw much more attention to the show, and if anything, give it legs. Oh, I think you're absolutely right. I think that's true. So anyway, they're just one big free advertisement for the show. And by the way, do you think we would have been talking about it if the Parents Television Council hadn't started sending out its press releases? Not a chance. And, and, and by the way, so many shows, you may object to them for any number of reasons. Uh, they have gays on them. They have gays kissing on them. They have blah, 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 whatever it is that people have a problem with. Most shows get canceled in just a few episodes anyway. Why even waste your time having a campaign? Yeah, we do it runs. I don't know. They're drawing so much attention to it from people. And the CW, I mean, it's a great network, but it's not as big as one of the big four. And now people are going to like be checking their channels to see what the, what the, their local area channel is and everything. They're going to look into it. They're drawing no, attention. No doubt about it. That's all I got for you this time, Tom. Maybe I'll call again. It took me 11 years for the first call. Hopefully it won't take long next time. Step it up, Lisa. Take care. Appreciate the call. Antonio on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? It's going great. Hey, listen, man, um, I've been listening for a while, and this is my chance to call, so I want to take a chance. Hey, um, one of the things that I've noticed that I'm Hispanic, and sometimes I turn into the, you know, Mexican television network, and believe me, that stuff is hot. That's where oh. the, that, that council is supposed to be watching, because if they're getting a little bit of, you know, pissed off about what's happening on, on, on uh, CW, I mean... You could not believe it. I mean, there was a show from Colombia. Everything. Pretty oh, much everything. hey, I, 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 I'm, I'm hip to that. I've been watching that show. You're talking about the one at 10 o'clock at night, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. You're talking about the one on yes. Telemundo, right? You're talking about uh, right. the Cincenos No Hay Paraiso. Oh, yes, indeed. You know, you know, that's probably why you with, uh, you know, you, you have a hot thing for Latinas, right? <laughs> I, I know I'm going to find them on that show. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you, I'm going to tell you. I am going to tell you what a fan I am of that show. I went out and bought the DVD of the original Colombian version. Really? <laughs> which I have right here. And it's hotter. Yes. Yes. Highly yes. recommended. I beg your pardon? Uh, it's highly recommended. If you have oh, a chance yes, to get a look at that, you must see it. Oh, it's unbelievable. Even during the day. Uh, these networks, they have good stuff. I mean, why would I going to go and watch 90210 when I can get better, you know, stuff? You Hotter know? chicks? Oh, everything, everything. Uh, but again, you know, I guess this uh, console, whatever groups they, they're watching TV, maybe they don't speak Spanish, so they might going to get, 
someone who speaks Spanish and understands exactly what it is, you know, and maybe they will enjoy it a little bit better, you know, instead of complaining and making, you know, these more a, uh, uh, more boring networks that we have already in the USA. You know, we need content, you know. No, there's no doubt about it. It's, it's just like the same reason. The FCC never goes after any of the radio programs in Spanish, and you know the ones I'm talking about. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, because they speak very nicely, if I, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean <laughs> something else. Oh, yeah. No, oh, there's that one show in the morning where the guy sounds like a dirty old man and everything he says is vulgar. By the way, I don't speak Spanish, but I understand it. And I've heard this show, and I know you know who I'm talking about. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And, and uh, I mean, you, you know, even I recently took a trip to Mexico, and by 10 o'clock, uh, all the networks, even, uh, you know, remember the, the um, E.O.N. E on, and the Bahamas, Avisa, whatever it was? Yeah. No, nothing blurred. Everything's showing at 10 o'clock at night. And I thought that maybe, wow, no one's, no one's watching here, you know, uh, controlling the networks, I guess. And, but the bottom line is the parents were responsible for their, for, for having the kids in bed by that time, you know, and they're the ones responsible for the, the, the kids education and stuff and, and monitoring what the kids are watching and not watching. You know, here it's a it's a different story. But hey, Tom, it's an honor. It's an honor talking to you. I've been listening for you for a while, and uh, you take me out with uh, let's see, uh, Jesus Christ and uh, Kobe Jones. I certainly can. This is about us. She's so special to me. It beats in my heart. The air I breathe. She's so special to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. James on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing today? Doing great. Awesome. My dad raised me up uh, through my adolescence listening to you and uh, wanted to comment on this new 90210 thing. Yeah. And I'm 18 years old, just out of college. I'm in the Air Force now. And the one thing that, you know, I, I grew up at Canyon High School in Anaheim Hills. And that uh, us kids, we like sex. We like things that are wrong. Uh, I mean, that's the whole part of growing up is the rebellion. And I don't see how parents are going to get their kids not to watch something. You know, it's like my dad told me not to do something. Hey, I'm going to go do it. It's, it's uh, You're not going to be able to tell your kid that you had a call or a few calls back that said, you know, um, you tell your kids not to do something, it's what they're going to do. And uh, I, I really think, you know, growing up is about dr going out partying, having those experiences and the drugs and the sex and things like that. So this show showing it, it's probably pretty realistic to what's happening at uh, at high schools nowadays. I have two little sisters that are, that are um, that you know, probably are going down that, that road that I'm, that I went down. So I don't doubt that there's kids at 11 years old already starting to fool around and things like that. Well, like I say, uh, 11 was the age that was cited in at least two stories that I've read about this. 11. 11 years, 11 years old. It's not surprising to me. I mean, I've got a little next-door neighbor who's 12, and he's already asked me, so if I do this with a girl, what's this? I'm like, dude, you're 12. I mean, what's up with that? But, you know, at the same time, you know, when I was at El Rancho in Anaheim, I was, it, when I was 12, I was looking for the same thing, and I was you know, that was, what, six years ago? So it's... I don't think that I think parents are a little overkill. Um, actually, a lot overkill nowadays because if you compare us to Europe and uh, other parts of the world, you know, your last caller was uh, very true. I used to work in Mexico um, when I was 16 and 17, running the Baja, and so it's just more open. And in different parts of the world, it's like we have to be hold the standard for uh, being completely. Uh, I was gonna say uh, a term, but it's I can't complete tell prudes. Radio. Yes, complete prudes. Yeah, that's what we are. We're complete prudes, and it's just kind of, it's stupid. No doubt about it. Hey, I thank you, James, for the call. It's Jeremy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Nice to finally talk to you, sir. Sure it is. Uh, I've never called in. My girlfriend's called you before, but um, I was called because I've had some experience with these kind of people before. I work for a small family-owned business in uh, Portland, Oregon. I've been there for about 10 years, but a while ago, while the Da Vinci Code was 
selling off the shelves. Uh, we were advertising during some documentary uh, on the Da Vinci Code, and I had a, a right-wing conservative Christian gentleman call up and tell us that we should stop advertising on those kind of programs, otherwise we would lose a lot of our uh, Christian customers. Ah. And uh, did you uh, pay any attention to what he said, and did uh, the, did anyone do anything? Well, uh, I I would automatically get angry at that kind of thing. I was raised a Jehovah's Witness, so I told him that... Uh, <laughs> That people like him were the reason I was an atheist and that we could do fine just without their business. I've been there for long enough where I don't have to worry about saying that kind of thing. Wow. I, I, you know, again, I, I don't understand these people. I don't get it. You know, if you don't want to watch, don't watch. If you don't want to uh, hear something, don't listen. Oh, absolutely. And it, uh, these people are so unhappy and miserable that they they can only be content when they're meddling with other people's lives that's certainly true uh jeremy thank you for the call i appreciate it our email address is my name it's tom at blowmeuptom.com tom at blowmeuptom.com but if you're planning on coming down and protesting write to me i will send you directions to our studio so you can bring down the old picket signs Sure to send out a press release before you come, by the way. The Tom Likas Show.